said i said is, is there such a grace i found it in the life of several people from history from scripture the bible says for samuel pastor said that none of his word what kind of a man is that do you know how much of a blessing you will be if everything you say upon people comes to pass but i found out there was a price a real price and i said whatever that price is i obtain grace from god let's go for when you find that grace now you can tell people be blessed they will say amen as if they are joking and come out with their hands on their head and say what was upon my life when i left There is a price look at the price that politicians pay during election they travel to almost every local government almost every state healthy or not tired or not are we together they sweat around morning afternoon evening that is the price it takes to be a governor or a president or whatever it is no matter how capable you are you will not overcome that price you have to pay it Jesus, grant that my sons will sit at your left and your right. Jesus would have said, wonderful, what a mother and what a good request. He said, can you drink of my cup and be baptized with my baptism? Church is quiet. I hope your silence means you are meditating on what I'm saying. Not that you are saying, why did he say this? I wish I were lying, but this is no lie. It is the truth. There is a real price. There is a price for favor. Huh. There is a price for favor. It is not every dimension of favor that is unmerited. Mm -mm. If you have that theology, you are going to be disappointed. There are dimensions of favor that are very merited. In fact, the only dimension of favor that is unmerited is favor that reveals itself as the saving grace. And even that dimension, you must verbalize your reception. Today there are people going to hell even though Jesus Christ is still Lord. Because if they do not open their mouth and show their interest and believe Him as a Savior and as Lord, they will still go to hell. Favor is beyond saying, I am favored. No, there are conditions. Proverbs 13 and verse 15 is one of the principal conditions that govern favor. Proverbs 13 and 15 it says good understanding brings favor it says but the way of the transgressor is hard i desire to see god lift us in supernatural dimensions we're going to be praying in a few minutes this is our final session together and i want to pray over our lives i i'm trusting god I really pray from the depth of my heart that someone will really experience what the grace of God can do in the life of someone who is. It may not be so for everybody, but there are few people, pastors, sir, who have really encountered grace to know what grace can do. Ah, if, if the grace of God meets you, honestly speaking, your life will become a marvel and a wonder first to yourself. Some of you are trusting God for all kinds of graces. The grace to heal. The grace for speed. The grace for liftings. There are graces that, that govern these dimensions of results. You must pray for it. There is a grace that can give you your own. Your own anything. Rehoboth. God has given me my own space. If that grace is not upon you, you can save, even if it's a billion naira to build a house, you will be surprised you will never be able to build one house because it takes more than a block and cement. It takes grace. Adonai, Lamb of God, you are worthy, worthy of my praise. King of kings, Lord of lords, 
Hallelujah. We are praying. But the Lord just showed me two people. There are two people here. There is a call of God upon your life. But there are certain graces you have been seeking. You have been seeking these graces. I know that there's, there's um, what they call it, social distance. So even if you bring people under the anointing, just let's try to respect it. But I don't want to waste the remaining time. There are two people here. As I was just singing that song, the Lord just opened my eyes. And I saw that there were people who must drink of this grace. Listen, it's a grace that will drive you to prayer. It's a grace that will drive you to study. Bring them out. Look at what the Holy Ghost is doing. He's bringing them out by himself. This is a dimension of signs and wonders. It happens by the Spirit of God. Casting ground, lifting hands, bowing down, what I've come to do. Bring them out. Lifting hands, bowing down, bowing down. Hallelujah. Please bring them out. There is a reason. You invited me here. This is a ministry of signs and wonders. It's so that the Lord Himself will shift you to very strange dimensions. Ebaranto sele kashkala bahaski badeya, embregedusia shkala brandi gada. There are four ladies. The spirit of prophecy. This is what I am seeing. For one of you, it was on your mother. Please bring them out. Well, help them, whether you are an usher or not. Please help them. You don't have to be an usher. Bring them out. That grace that was on your mother is coming on you. Bring them out. Please, whether you are an usher or not, help them. Looked around and suddenly realized That you've been so good to me ah. Your mercy is everlasting Undenying Listen I join my faith with the prophet of God and I declare here at this conference I shift you to new levels all of you in front here step into new levels and for everyone following and watching here in the main auditorium and at the overflows be shifted to new dimensions in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah the power of God is on a lady now I'm seeing. Bring her. She's wearing green. Green. Complete green. She's at this side. Bring that lady. The Lord is revealing to me a lady wearing complete green. Who is that? With a nose mask. Is there someone like that? Who is Olamide? Olamide. I'm hearing a name. Olamide. Is there someone like that? Olamide, I'm hearing that name, Olamide. Please be patient, we have to pray. Olamide, this is the name that God is giving to me. My dear, look at me. Where are you coming from? America. Huh? From Lady Love. From where? I want to pray for you. Because your life is about to change. Are you a member of this church? My goodness, you will never forget this encounter. I stretch my hands. May grace come upon your life and shift you to a strange dimension in the realm of the spirit. Receive that grace and step into that dimension of possibility. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is Jonathan? Jonathan. 
I'm hearing a name, Jonathan. There's someone, I don't know if it's your name or your son name, Jonathan. Please, when you have that person, I want to talk to that person right now. And then I'm hearing a name, Bolu. Who is Bolu? I'm hearing a name, Bolu. Is there someone like that? That should be female. Am I right? Please, who is that? I want to speak to you. What's your name? Huh? Your son name is Jonathan. Your son name is Jonathan. Where are you from? I'm from Undo State. Undo State. Can I pray for you, ma? Please don't come out at random, eh? Make sure we know why so that we don't mess up this place. Why are they here? Your mother? Who is Bolu? Oh, Bolu is both male and female. Okay. No. This is it's none of these people, but I'm, I'm, I will still pray for you. But the person I'm seeing, someone in the overflow, the power of God is coming on that person. The overflow. Please carry the person and bring the person here. There is a prophetic word. The overflow. The, that's the one. It, uh, I think that overflow. A strong anointing is coming on that person. Please quickly bring the person. We'll work with time. Madam, I want to speak to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Ah. The rod of the wicked will not rest upon the lot of the righteous. I'm not a prophet of doom, but I'm speaking to you that in the name of Jesus, every reproach of darkness. Help the person who will run out now by the Spirit of God. An anointing will come on him. He will literally be running. Please hold him, whether you are an usher or not. Please. This is happening by the Spirit. There is a prophecy for that person.